Hey guys, BrickYoYo here, and today I'm giving you a little uh, collection update, sort of room update, you know, what I've what I've been working in, what I've been living in, um, what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's get started right at the, the desk. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of parts right here, um, and that's one of the things I've been working on right now. Um, is this monstrosity, um, it's, it's supposed to be like a water pump, um, I had this idea of doing a, a water, uh, like a Splash Mountain type, um, ride, but with real water, because, um, I need to make it hard, so, um, that requires like a pump thing, and I got this uh, pneumatic, this Technic set with a bunch of pneumatics from my cousin. So, you know, I got the pumps, um, but that kind of never worked. So I'm going back to the old-fashioned, um, straight up just jamming bricks together in the hopes that they will uh, do that. And um, basically it just condenses a bunch of water which can come in here and then it'll push it down into either tube and then out this tube at the end. Um, the one thing I can't get it to do right now, uh, blah, 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 blah. we hooked up, oh yeah, peep that uh, Nintendo Switch in the background. So, oh, I just need to this. It's a, it's a work in progress, you know, uh, as most things are in this hobby. Uh, yeah. um, currently it only works, so originally I had it designed like there would be another um, gear right here. Um, but that doesn't work for some reason. It just, I don't know why, but it, or it doesn't work with both of them. Like the motor isn't strong enough to drive, to fight the friction of both, um, modules. So either I'll just get another motor, um, but that seems inefficient. Um, I rebuilt this thing, um, cause I did notice like depending on what pieces you use, um, sometimes that like seriously helps just if things aren't catching because if you rub your nail along you can find catch points um, and the older the bricks because um, I, I had like one half in uh, in blue but um, I did notice that like because these are probably some of my oldest pieces that I have and they kind of catch so I've been trying like newer colors or uh, newer as in stuff I just got so or you know fairly recently that I haven't like you know built a ton of stuff with so yeah um but it it does work uh you can't tell in video but it is I am feeling air come out of there obviously I don't know if this will even work with water um knowing my luck it won't but, um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll keep trying with that. I think what I might do is just give up and use Mindstorms for this and have two motors on here. But that's really excessive because those things are ginormous. Also, if I'm playing with water, I don't really want my super expensive uh, Mindstorms motors to um, be used because they will get damaged. But we're going to do it anyway. And then at the end of this whole project, I'm going to have a lot of pieces to sort back in the bins, which are all out on the ground and stuff right now. Come on. There you go. Um, so that's my parts collection. Or, you know, kind of it. Most of it. Um, yeah. Um, there's, there's your little, uh, blocks to bricks guy. Um, I did build the Museum of Science and Industry, and it came with a surprising number of extra pieces. Um, which I don't want to use because I'm a purist. Um, this book, this, um, 
artist spotlight. Brick's Culture is super awesome. Um, it's actually a really enjoyable read, so you should go read it. Um, another thing I did very recently was this, my Ninjago Cards collection. And it kind of got messed up um, because I did play a few rounds with some friends. Yes, I do have friends. I know it's surprising. Um, we didn't do 2012 cards, of which I'm not even close to the complete set. Um, but 2011, I have pretty much everything. 2011, I do have... Oh, hello. Oh, that's why. Come on. 2011, I do have every uh, card that was like released in a set. Um, and duplicates of a lot of them. However, I am missing one card. And one card only, which is really annoying. Um, and that is Ice Spikes. Which is just the weirdest card to not have because it came with Chopov, which is right here. But I do not know where the card is. Um, so I have 80 out of 81. Um, plus Sensei Wu in black, who is my only um, star card. Because it came in a set. I don't know why LEGO did that that way. Um, but this is a star card, even though it's kind of a regular character card. What the heck, LEGO? But um, I am planning to try to get a complete collection. Eventually. Um, Ice Spikes is basically Flame Pit, um, but ice. And it looks like that. So... That's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of thinking, like, maybe I want to um, sort of lay those out in a, um, like, frame them. Um, like, I know, you know, a lot of, like, Pokemon card collectors and stuff, they'll have a binder. I don't know. I don't really like that. It's not really, like, displayable. Um, you know, a frame would be super cool. You could, like, see all of them have, like, a 9 by 9 grid. Because there's 81. I mean, not quite. You know. One, figure out how many there are. And then make a thing to put all of them in. Um, the only problem with that is every time I actually want to play the game. I kind of have to take them all out of this frame thing. And that might be a hassle depending on how I do it. So, yeah. But I could have like two frames. One for 2011 and one for 2012. And if they bring them back next year... Then I could do another one then. So yeah. Um, I rearranged my desk a little bit since the last time you probably saw my switch is there now. Um, Hedwig is there. That's kind of it. My desktop background is uh, Smash Bros Ultimate uh, Pro Controller. Uh, yeah. Um, let's go over here. This bin, that's uh, my spinner box. Focus. That's my spinner box, um, which is right there because I took the cards out and all that. So yeah, um, up on the bookshelf of things I'm kind of displaying, Destiny's Bounty is here. Still here, maybe. I took out some of the figs, the ones that I didn't have repeats of. Um, and I got, Kai does not have a scabbard anymore because I wanted that for my sig fig which is in the beautiful updated Space Cruiser 7. Updated because it now has the swords on it. So that's fun. That was a really shaky camera, I'm sorry about that. Um, we still got the J thing on here and uh, the Temple of Resurrection and the uh, Katana V11, something like that. Um, mainly because I don't have a Sons of Garmadon bin yet. Well, although this is this is relatively new, I got it like two weeks ago, um, and then we have um, Lola and Agent Coulson. Bought that set just for that. Didn't even build the rest of it. Parted it out. And then the big thing I got the, the Statue of Liberty, and it looks really cool, and um, I like it. My marching band did a show based on the Statue of Liberty, um, so it was sort of like good timing, and. Uh, yeah, Statue of Liberty. It was really cool, and it wobbles because the Technic beam going in it isn't quite short enough, or isn't what it's doing, it's not tall enough to, like, there's a little give. 
Um, we got some games on top of a box that has a um, Hands of Time bin in it. Until I get a bigger bin, it's going to be in there because dust is a real problem in the room. Uh, which you can see if you look at the synthesizer. Um, where's the dusty part? Oh wait, I, I just dusted it, so it's not. It was! Um, and then I got some my uh, Ninjago DVD collection. Day of the Departed is elsewhere in the house because I just watched it. Um, but it would be in that stack. Um, ba 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 ba. Blocks to bricks bag in the corner of stuff that I need to clean. Oh, here's the set I was talking about. Um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's that one. Yeah. Oh, and then the rest of my parts collection is right there. Um. Oh, I broke my laptop screen. Like, uh, three weeks ago. Um, on a band trip. Uh, so that was fun. So I got a replacement. And so this is my old one. Which I should probably just throw out, but I didn't. So, um, it's here. Cool. And then this is a, uh, box for a keyboard that's not even LEGO related at all. So I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Lights. I should, I should do a thing with lights and LEGO sometime. That'd be, that'd be fun, right? You guys would watch that. Here's a window, um, which doesn't like to close all the way anymore. It's really sad. Um, up on the, up on the dresser, um, is my semi-permanent Ninjago minifigure display collection, um, which is a lot more full than it was last time. I'm, I really need more base plates. Please send me base plates. Um, and then I'll get these two items out of the way. Um, from Cars Land in California. Because I, I needed to. I'm a collector, so these are like the sort of um, car... The cars that you ride in in the rides, they made die-cast cars of them. Um, and they've been sitting here for like six months because I'm lazy. If you haven't noticed. Um, but yeah. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. There's a lot of like um, problems just as far as sort of displaying minifigures, um, Ninjago minifigures in a way that I want to. I just, I can't like find a consistent rule because a lot of characters have so many different versions and then some of them have none and like I want to display the armies together but then certain members of the armies have multiple versions so what do I do with those? It's a huge headache. And then not all the ninja have like equal number of variants. Like we got prison zane, but no other prison variants. So do I make customs of those? Cause I could, and they would be show accurate, but do I do it and would it look stupid? And maybe I want to move those to the end and have all the suits next to each other. And where do I put young crux? Um, do I put them at the end of the thing or should I put them somewhere completely different or should I put them right next to there? Because here's my like Vermilion army thing, but I don't know. And this version of Samurai X is isn't in the show at all, so I don't know. I don't know. Should I count um, Tournament Zane? Because he is not canon. <sighs> also, I'm missing Cole DX for some reason from the, the Spinner game, actually. Then why is Kai here? Why is Kai here but not Cole? That's stupid. Um, and I got some Sons of Garmadon people in there. Where do I put the new version of Harumi? Do I put her... I'll probably put her in Hunted. No, that one makes sense. But I want, like, the versions of the characters to be next to each other. I want it. I want it. But it won't happen. Um, and that's okay. And then I need to make customs of all these guys. And I think this row is for, like, civilian clothing. But then Lloyd has like 1800 civilian variants, hood, unhooded, and then like halfway transformed. So what do I do with those? Claire and Jesper, do we worry about them? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. So I got a lot of things to deal with regarding this. 
Um, Dogshank is obviously the most massive character ever. Um, do I like make that the shelf size? Or do I make that the shelf size and just kind of not have this? Um, I don't know. It's hard. Um, I'll go more in depth on this probably in a later video. Because um, I could go on for a like, really long time. Because it's, it's a lot. So we're going to do that later. Um, so watch out for that. It's going to be a fun video. It's going to be me ranting about how I can't put plastic dudes in a 2D array that looks pretty. Um, and then if we move down here, you will um, see my giant bear. His name is Pete. He uh, kind of just lives there because um, I, I don't know what else to do with him. But he's really fun to like throw at people and stuff. That's probably why I don't have friends. I throw giant bears at them. Dang, I should work on that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. It was way longer than I wanted it to be. Well, I didn't really have, I didn't, I didn't know how long I wanted it to be. But it was, um, it was fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of start doing these sort of like collection updates, I guess, whenever I get a bunch of new stuff or, you know, a display that I'm working on, like, starts happening, then I'll, uh, I'll do a collection update on the progress. Um, so that'll be fun. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. Link is in the description. And I will see you guys later.